In New Orleans, two little girls, Charlotte and Tiana, are listening to a fairy tale about a princess and a frog. Charlotte is fascinated by the story, while Tiana is rather disgusted at the idea of kissing a frog. Charlotte admits that she would kiss a hundred frogs if she could marry a prince and be herself a princess. Back at her house, little Tiana, a natural talent in cooking, makes gumbo and everyone in the neighborhood finds it delicious. Tiana's father aspires to open a restaurant with his daughter. Tiana sees the evening star and goes to make a wish. Her father tells her that the star will only take her halfway towards her dream and that she needs to work hard in order to achieve her life goal. He also advises her to keep in mind the essential part of life, which is love, as her parents tuck her into bed. Little Tiana goes by the window to wish upon the evening star when she sees a frog and gets scared. The years fly by and Tiana has grown into a fine young woman working hard to gather money and open her own restaurant, and also to honor her father, who died in the war. In fact, she works so hard that she doesn't have time for fun. When Charlotte and her father, Eli LaBeouf, come to the canteen where Tiana is working, they tell her about Prince Naveen of Maldonia, who is currently visiting New Orleans. Charlotte is so excited because her daddy has invited the prince to their masquerade ball that night. Tiana says that the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach and Charlotte asks for Tiana to help her with her delicacies to entice the prince. She gives money to Tiana and gives her the chance to chase her dream. Tiana sees the place where she plans to build her restaurant, an old sugar mill. Her mother, Eudora, gives her as a present her father's gumbo pot and Tiana is touched by this move. They inspect the place and Tiana is so thrilled about it, Eudora is forced to tell her that the most important thing in life is love. Tiana is so devoted to her dream, feeling almost there, that she doesn't have the time for useless romances. In the meantime, Prince Naveen is having fun in the city. He is warned by Lawrence, his valet, who reveals that the prince is, ahem, broke, and so offers him two choices. Either marry a rich woman or get a job. But the handsome prince despises work and chooses to dance with Lawrence, who finally gets into the music. That is, he gets his head stuck into a tuba. After getting him out, the prince and Lawrence are approached by a slim and shady figure who introduces himself as Dr. Facilier, an evil voodoo practitioner who reads tarot and makes dreams come true. Prince Naveen follows Dr. Facilier and falls for his lies. Lawrence tries to warn the prince, but Dr. Facilier snaps out and while singing and dancing takes the two men inside his lair. He offers each to take three tarot cards and reads their futures. Prince Naveen is royalty no doubt, but a disinherited and poor royalty, in quest of a wealthy bride to support his extravagant lifestyle. Dr. Facilier sees a bright future for both of his customers. Lured by false promises, Naveen is convinced and Lawrence smiles wickedly. They both shake Dr. Facilier's hand, but they don't know what is going to happen. Prince Naveen is tied by snakes to his chair, and Dr. Facilier transforms him into something nasty. At the masquerade ball, Charlotte is very anxious about the prince's arrival to the party. She feels rather depressed until she sees him. They both dance a waltz and Tiana, watching her best friend fulfilling her life dream of marrying a prince, learns that someone has outbid her and that she can't purchase the sugar mill. She only has a few days to outbid that unknown person. Charlotte tries to comfort her and Tiana wears a stunning light blue dress. She feels distraught, though seeing her dream slipping out of her hands. Tiana goes to make a wish upon the evening star and sees a frog right next to her. She talks to it and all of a sudden, the frog talks back in a human voice. Tiana gets scared and tries to get rid of the frog, who says he is Prince Naveen. Tiana wonders who the other prince who dances with Charlotte is, and Naveen tells her that the only way to return to his normal self is to get a kiss from her, a princess. Tiana refuses, and Naveen tries to persuade her, ultimately succeeding to be kissed. But things don't turn out as the fairy tale, and instead of Naveen becoming a human, Tiana is transformed into a frog as well. The two lovely amphibians bicker then about this accident, and they both end up out the window, causing a wild and rhythmic havoc which ends up in a narrow escape. Dr. Facilia realizes the seriousness of the situation and scolds the false prince, who is none other than Lawrence transformed. Lawrence, however, has enough with this and takes off the voodoo talisman, which contains a drop of Naveen's blood, and promptly returns to his original form. He tosses the talisman and Dr. Facilier catches it on time, before getting smashed on the ground. 
Dr. Facilier convinces Lawrence to play his part and marry Charlotte for the money. Meanwhile, Tiana finds out about Naveen's dealing with Dr. Facilier and that he's broke while Naveen learns that Tiana is not a princess. Chased by fish and stork in the bayou, they find themselves in a pond where alligators approach them to have a bite. The froggies hide in a tree and spend the night there away from the danger. In the morning when the alligators are gone, Tiana and Naveen row down the river when a friendly alligator named Louis appears and accompanies Naveen on a musical duet of guitar and horn. He befriends the two frogs and tells them about his dream of playing music in a band. He also tells them about Mama Odie, a powerful voodoo queen in the deepest parts of the bayou. The two frogs see an opportunity to become humans again and coax Louis to take them to her. Louis accepts and so, singing and rowing down the stream, the three companions travel to Mama Odie. In the meantime, Charlotte complains about the frog fiasco the previous night and Lawrence is slowly resuming his natural form as the blood on the talisman is depleting. Naveen and Tiana practice their tongue flicking and without really wanting to, they end up entangled. A firefly by the name of Raymond helps them out of this awkward state and is informed about their dire situation. Raymond and his countless firefly buddies escort the trio to the place where Mama Odie is. Dr. Facilier asks help from his shady friends to find Prince Naveen. He plans on taking over the city of New Orleans after taking out Mr. LaBeouf and promises the dark spirits the souls of the citizens in exchange for their assistance. Soon enough, the dark spirits fly and roam the city in search of Naveen. As Naveen, Tiana, Louis, and Raymond reach the shore, they are unaware of a dangerous trio of humans who have plans on eating frog legs. They pounce on them, but our little frog friends prove to be too clever to handle, and after talking to their hunters, they sent them away, rowing like mad. Later on, the two frogs prepare dinner, and Tiana shows Naveen how to mince mushrooms. Naveen admits that since he didn't have to struggle for anything in his life, he practically knows nothing, at which Tiana comforts him by saying that at least he had cut the mushrooms decently. Raymond speaks about his girl, which turns out to be the evening star, and soon starts to sing. Naveen then teaches Tiana how to dance, and guess what? A romance is brooding here. Naveen goes to kiss Tiana, who gently avoids him. Suddenly a dark spirit grabs Naveen, but he's saved by the spectacular Mama Odie. Taking the folks back to her place, the two frogs ask Mama to turn them back to humans, but Mama Odie tells them to dig a little deeper to find what they need. After an outstanding performance, Mama Odie asks Tiana if she knows what she needs, but Tiana fails her by saying that she needs to work harder. Mama Odie tells them that if they want to become humans again, then Naveen has to kiss Charlotte, the princess of Mardi Gras, apparently. But they only have until midnight. Boarding a steamboat with Louis finally playing in a band as the others think he is wearing an awesome costume, Naveen prepares a romantic dinner for him and Tiana with plans of proposing to her. Yet, Tiana is lost in her thoughts and Naveen stalls the proposal until a dark spirit grabs him. As Charlotte awaits Lawrence, three spirits deliver Naveen to Dr. Felicier, allowing him to carry on with his ploy with Lawrence. When the steamboat reaches the city, Tiana learns from Raymond that Naveen was this close to propose to her, and that indeed makes her so happy. But after seeing the false prince getting ready to marry Charlotte, not knowing of the deception at hand, Tiana feels so disappointed she leaves. Raymond follows Tiana and tries to tell her that there is still hope, but Tiana dismisses him and Raymond goes along to stop the wedding. He releases Frog, Naveen, and Lawrence goes to confront the prince, telling him about all these years of unfair servitude. Naveen manages to retrieve the talisman and gives it to Raymond, who takes it to Tiana. Louis sees Raymond, flies, and blows up his cover. Raymond is cornered by the spirits and puts up a hell of a fight before being crushed under Dr. Felicier's foot. In fear of breaking the talisman, Tiana gets turned back into a human by Dr. Felicia, who promises to give her the restaurant she and her father always dreamed of. But Tiana doesn't fall for this and attempts to break the talisman. A spirit grabs it and hands it to Dr. Felicia, who turns Tiana back into a frog. He shouts at her that she will remain a frog for the rest of her life. But Tiana manages to smash the talisman using her marvelous flicking tongue. Dr. Felicia is violently taken away by the demonic spirits and dies. Charlotte finds out about Lawrence and Naveen being a frog. Naveen tells her to kiss him before midnight and promises her to marry her, but only if she gives Tiana the money to buy her restaurant. Tiana hears this and says, Naveen, that she loves him. 
Charlotte acknowledges their great love and agrees to help them, but it is too late. No matter how many kisses she delivers upon those froggy lips, nothing happens. Shortly afterwards, Lewis comes holding a dying Raymond. Unfortunately, Raymond doesn't make it, but there should not be any tears for our lovely Firefly, who becomes a star and is finally now together with his beloved Evangeline. After this, Naveen and Tiana marry in the bayou. As they kiss each other, they miraculously turn back to their human forms. They carry on with the wedding in the city, where they buy the restaurant and make it a glorious place, with Louis the Alligator playing in the band. The film ends with Naveen and Tiana dancing happily together. The end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.